Let's talk about what's going on with the Federal Reserve. So let's smash that like button. Let's subscribe to the channel. We just did a series on the Federal Reserve, but yet last week they did raise interest rates, but they blinked, baby. They only raised by a quarter percent. We have inflation. It's still over 6%. Has it come down some? Absolutely. They don't calculate inflation like they used to. All right, if they did, it would be much higher. We're dealing with this over 6% inflation, but their target is two. And so why did they only raise a quarter percent this last time around last week? Well, because they're scared. The unintended consequence of what's going on in the banking system. Now, last week, the government came out and said they were going to back all deposits up to 250 and beyond. That's right, another bailout because they've screwed it up again. The bankers have screwed it up again. You and I are going to pay for it. They're not talking about it as a bailout. They're just saying, oh, we're going to guarantee it. Well, when you guarantee losses, aren't you bailing them out? Absolutely. Who's guaranteeing the losses on your credit cards? Who's guarantee the losses if you go out of business? No, Nobody, baby. But if you're the banking system, then the, then the government comes in. Why? Because they're scared to death of this thing called contagion. They're scared to death of it. They've already seen it, right? They saw it in the SVB bank. They saw it in the First Republic. They've seen it in Signature out of Signature Bank out of New York. So they are scared. And when they get scared, they start doing what? Stupid things that create more unintended consequences. Now, why do I say that? I'm in real estate. I like to see real estate prices go up, but I also want to see a refreshing of the cycle. That's what I've been looking for is this refreshing of the cycle. Why? Because then prices come down to accommodate the higher interest rates. Yes, prices have come down in some places and they've come down in most places, but not nearly enough. If you go back in your history and you look at the last time we had this kind of inflation, you go back to the early 1970s, right? 73, 74, you will see where they paused on raising interest rates. Yes, they paused on raising interest rates. And then what happened? Boom, massive inflation to the end of the 70s. That's what my concern is today. Yes, I own real estate. I want to see real estate go up, but I was looking for this greater opportunity. Greater opportunities to, to what? To get in at lower prices. Now, that may still happen. We're going to start to see some stuff shake out, but we may not have, see that massive drop in real estate that we've been looking for. Just keep your eyes open. Keep watching what we're talking about here. And hey, be ready to pull the trigger. Because if we start to see where the Fed continues to blink. They continue to be scared because they know if they keep raising these interest rates, they will make these treasury bond, this treasury bond problem even worse inside the banks. And they're scared to death that if they do that, then it's going to cause more problems. And when they get scared, like I said, they do stupid things. Talk to you soon. Let's get out there, guys. Let's make it happen. Let's keep an eye out. We may have to start jumping back into real estate sooner than we thought, but let's let the market tell us. Let's watch for what the Federal Reserve continues to do.